Hello, good afternoon, Paul. How are you doing? I'm, I'm fine. How are you feeling after this announcement? Yeah, we're all, I mean, we're all over the moon. It's, it's really, really great news. It's been, um, it's been a really tricky couple of, uh, couple of months, what with everything going on. And I think, you know, there's been a lot of hard work that's happened behind the scenes to get to this point. But we are all really over the moon on behalf of all the patients that we, uh, that we work with. And just explain your needs, Carly, because I gather you need medicinal cannabis. Yes. Yeah, I um, I have a few different autoimmune conditions, one of which is a blood disorder. Um, I also have had a stroke and was um, left with a condition called fibromyalgia, which is a chronic pain condition. Um, it results in quite a lot of nerve pain, um, which I use THC for. Um, I was prescribed fentanyl and morphine for a number of years, and I was able to wean myself off all of those really, really heavy opiate drugs um, just with a selection of strains of cannabis that I know help me. Um, and it's completely changed my life, if I'm honest. Um, I was uh, bed-bound for much of the month um, previously, and you know now I'm back on my feet, and as long as I can get the right strains, um, I'm in a much better place. I have a much better quality of life. And you're going to be helping implement this strategy, I gather? Yeah, uh, yeah. We are um, one of the organisations involved, and we have been in several meetings with the APPG, which is the All-Party Parliamentary Group. Yeah. Um, that are looking at this. Um, we've also been, you know, to other party meetings on drug reform, and we've been a big part of the conversation, um, advising them really on what patient needs, um, what what patients require, what what patients feel um, cannabis helps them with, um, how they consume. Um, we do collect a lot of data from our patients and um, produce a patient survey, which is then. Um, which then gives us a sort of list of data which we've been able to then share with the professionals that have taken this on, this on board. Um, and that's, that's mostly to do with the fact that, you know, these MPs and the doctors are uh, great at what they do and very knowledgeable um, about what they, you know, about their, their roles and their jobs, but um, aren't necessarily that um, clued up with um, the science around medical cannabis. So we've tried to provide them with as much help and support on this journey as we can. Well, you represent th thousands of people. How many people, because yeah. we've heard of these high-profile cases, and that has brought it to the public attention, and it's put pressure on uh, ministers and MPs, and we've got today's announcement. But how many people yeah. will benefit, do you think, as a result of this? Any, any uh, ideas, well, roughly? Well, it, it very much depends on how the, the next steps happen. So, I mean, it's great news. We're all over the moon. Um, everybody's very excited. <laughs> and I'm sure the patients all over our boards are having a bit of a celebration this afternoon. Um, but, you know, there's a, few, there's a few details that need to be ironed out in order to answer that question, mostly um, because we, we don't really know what the list of, um, if they're going to give a list of limiting conditions. Um, but as you know, we support thousands and thousands of patients across the UK with a multitude of different conditions um, and you know some of them are life threatening conditions and others you know it's it's like similar to me so the other option for me would be to be zomb you know very much zombied um, on opiates on very 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 heavy opiates yeah um, so for me it's about quality of life and pain relief um, and I've got a real affinity with those pain patients because I really understand how much that can really change your quality of life so I'm hopeful that that will be taken into consideration. Um, and at the moment, we don't really understand what constitutes as exceptional clinical need and who will be making that decision. So uh, that's sort of the next thing that, we, that we're going to look at and sort of narrow it down slightly and help them, help the um, APPG group figure that out and figure out the best and safest way to offer these patients um, medication. Big step forward today, Carly Barton from the United Patients Alliance with us. Carly, good to have you on the show. Thank you. Take care.